Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a tutorial series that how we'll write a thesis or project or journal paper and how we'll format it. So, in this tutorial series, I'm just showing you that how we'll format our thesis paper. Uh, just because of, suppose you need to write a thesis. Now, if you format the thesis paper perfectly, then you can change that in future for any requirement okay without editing or without doing any big problem so in this tutorial series I'm just going to show you that so let's uh, start and before uh, starting if you're a civil engineer then subscribe to our channel and also if you need to learn something extra related uh, video a uh, Microsoft office related video or many extra um, related topic then you can uh, commenters below so that we can create video like that so first of all I will just open a Microsoft Word file okay suppose new then from here I will create a Microsoft Word file so I'll just give the name this is demo okay so this is our file and um, in whole tutorial series I will just use that file okay so now I'll open that after opening our first thing is okay our first thing is we have to mark I, I mean we have to format our that page it's known as page layout so we have to go for page layout actually from different university from different professor they have different different requirement for page layout so suppose if I write here something wait for a minute I'll copy something here from my another thesis just see here if you see here I have done it from another thesis paper also actually okay actually this is my one of the thesis already have done just see here when I've write that uh, I have copied the thesis this format is not okay right here spacing is not okay the page line is not okay also here you are seeing that they have many mistake available okay now for that what I'll do actually when I'll write I will change every format every time is it possible actually so, um, that means I'll change that first time then I will um, I'll write that line and then I will go here I'll make it like that so actually this is not okay and here they have a figure number then I will give that figure number manually so this is not okay actually so we have to maintain that from our layout here is the page layout first of all we have to work with page layout and margin page layout and margin right so this is our first requirement we have to do our margin here so I have already told you from every universe I mean different university from different professor they have different different requirement so I'll just delete that first so I'll control a and delete so I have delete everything from here now the question is I have to give a margin okay I have to give a margin so for that first of all you have to come here layout right you have to come here layout after that you have to select your margin from here you have to go custom margin and here is the main important thing right here is the main important thing now here is the top here is the bottom and at the left here is the right okay so if I write here something actually I'll close that or I'll just delete that I, I will take some text ex text actually so I have delete that I will also delete that I will delete everything that is not required for me at now so I'll just okay close it now see here suppose this is my text now if you see in that side they have warnings in top they have warnings and in bottom uh, left 
I mean in right they have onions and in bottom here also have onions okay now you need margin first before starting work you have to maintain margin so for that you have to go here margin from layout then go margin then from here normal uh, this is the normal format okay now we'll go here okay we'll go here for custom margin we'll just click here for custom margin now from here you have to just give it and this margin before starting your thesis work you will ask your supervisor I mean thesis or journal supervisor that what will be the margin of my thesis paper right what will be the margin of my thesis paper and you are able to change that margin anytime when you record okay for your university professor you have changed that or your university supervisor you you have set a margin and for your another university suppose you want to go for higher study or anything and you, you need to submit your paper in another format then you were able to change it again right so now here yeah, top how about the top actually what about the top margin okay suppose I'm giving here 1.25 actually I'm just giving I'm, I'm giving here to show you not for professional work actually this depend on your um, supervisor that how they will consider so this is first of all you have to give a top then bottom bottom onions it's okay for that time then for left you have to binding your paper that's why in left side you need some space so I'll just consider here uh, in top I'll also consider one inch it's okay and for left side I'll consider 1.25 inch okay and for right side I'll just consider 0 0.75 inch okay that's it now apply to whole document obviously select that option apply to whole documents otherwise this point forward so we'll select apply to whole document and you can click here set as default okay set as default we will set that option default this margin now we can go paper here is the paper okay this is the paper which size your paper is you can select here the many size if your paper size is a4 size then you can go for a4 size so I'll just recommend you select a4 size right after that we'll go here layout so this is a important thing section start new page okay section start from new page then uh, here actually what is the layout meaning this is the header space and this is the footer space so I'll just suggest you please use your footer space 0 inch okay 0 inch because when you will give 0 0.5 it will be more uh, above from the footer your page number so I just recommend you use that 0 and also you can use that also 0 that will not affect on your paper okay and here is the vertical alignment okay page vertical alignment so I'll just recommend you leave it top okay and apply to whole document so it's done okay our wall process have done and from here paper they have print option from here you can also change it if you need I will not change anything here because we do not we do not need to change anything from here so when it's done simply click here simply click here okay now see here our page have changed in that side they have low space and in that side they have many space and in that side they have a space and in bottom they have also a space right now if I just control a select and if I increase the format and if I give that just see here now in bottom you're getting some space and if you give here the page number from here I'll just show you bottom page number and I'll just select that one just see here now page number is at perfect place and also you can change it have no problem by clicking here if you 
give here the bottom data it will go little bit top okay it's okay also so that is the way to set up our page I mean page layout and page setup so from here I'll again go then custom margin then from here we can go paper layout and we can okay it's 0 0.3 it's done so I'll just simply click okay so our everything is okay right our everything is okay about layout or page setup so our first work is done so in our next video I'll just show you that how we'll change that heading normal everything before starting our work this is our second step okay this is our second step to go forward so that's it for today and uh, for next video please stay with us and also uh, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you get the update when I mm, upload the video and also like our video share our video with your friend who need that so thank you thank you very much for staying with me and uh, your support and your love are really really essential for us thank you thank you very much yes still stay connected till next video